shoulders. So we've done the neck, we've done round one of hips, and now it's time for our shoulders. Um, so very quickly, I just want us to do a couple of things for our neck, uh, especially because we are going to be doing shoulder mobility. I don't just want to uh, wing straight in. I want to just do a, like three exercises for our neck. So take your hand, uh, just put, place them behind your head, okay? Inhale, raise up out of your hips, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Elbows coming down together. Hold for a second. Inhale, come back up. Chin up towards the sky. Exhale, all the way down. And then you get a tick tock. So elbows coming up to the left hand side really pushing that underneath one up inhale to center exhale push the other one up one more each side tick to the other side and tuck back to the other side back to the middle rounding the head up and then release the arms. Okay, so the um, the shoulder one that we're going to start with today, you're going to be sat on your bum with your hands behind you and the fingers are going to face away from you. Chest is up out of your shoulders, okay? Feet are flat on the floor. And you're going to raise your bum up slightly with an inhale. And as you exhale, push your bum all the way down towards your heels. And you feel what that does in your shoulders. Inhale, come back up. Take a little rest if you need. And exhale. Oh, that's a good one. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, rolling down. Inhale up, exhale, bum down towards those heels as far as you can get, hands do not move, keep that chest pushing out in between your shoulders, chin should be tucked, make sure you're not sticking your head out or anything, we've got two more. This is a good one, right? Oh, really gets into those shoulders. And back. And then put your bum down. And then loosen up your arms. Bring them back round. You might just need to roll them out a bit. Especially if you've kind of locked through the elbows. It might get a bit stiff. Try and stay a bit, a little bit bent. So um, the next one that we're going to do. Um, kind of similar in the setup. So feet are flat on the floor. This time, you're just gonna put one hand back and inhale, sit up tall. And as you exhale, you're gonna push your hips up, up. Hand comes and reaches out behind you. Wiggle your fingers. Inhale, come back down. Try and keep a slight bend in that elbow so that you're not locking it out. Exhale. Inhale, come down, exhale, inhale, coming down, two more, wiggle those fingers, and up, okay, now we're going to switch sides, so hand back, fingers facing away, feet flat on the floor, Chest is again out from the shoulders. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, push, hips up, hand reaches back. Wiggle the fingers. Elbows not locked out. There's a slight bend in my elbow. Inhale. Exhale, really reach. Remember today is shoulder day. So we want to really get as much range of movement in our shoulders as we can. 
Come back down. Last one. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. So. Okay. So. Next one that we're going to do, you actually get to lie down. So that's nice, isn't it? And then you're going to take your right leg. It's going to come across to your left hand side. And you're going to actually twist so that your hips are one on top of another. Imagine you've got a big pole running through your hips. Take both of your hands. Let me shuffle back a bit here. Take both of your hands. And if you can with this one, you might just want to put a pillow underneath your head. Okay. Um, so I've just grabbed a ball. But this one. This feels a bit better. So yeah, you've got one leg reaching across the body, but the hips are one on top of another. Both hands are on top of each other. And we're going to start to rotate the hand all the way around. Try and keep your fingers on the mat. Should feel some nice clicking in your back here. I know I do. Bring the hand lovingly down your leg and all the way back round okay so it's an inhale as your hand comes up once it gets to your head you kind of flip it over so the palm faces up and then oh exhale as you come all the way around inhale as we slide down that leg exhale hands together Okay, so we've got three more on this side. So inhale, exhale, and turn your head. Try and keep this knee on the ground. That's the challenge. Coming round. Last one. Here we go. Follow your hand with your eyes as much as you can. You can use anything as a pillow here. Just literally grab a pillow or a towel or anything that just gets your head up off the ground a little bit. Awesome. So we're going to switch sides. So instead of putting my back to you, I'm just going to flip over. Okay. So you're on your back. On your back. Left leg comes in. Pull it across to the side. And then... You're going to actually twist all of your body so that one hand is on top of the other. Put that pillow underneath your head. And then, instead of putting my back to you, I'm just going to flip over. Okay, so you're on your back. On your back. Left leg comes in. Pull it across to the side. And then you're going to actually twist all of your body. So that one hand is on top of the other. Put that pillow underneath your head. And then you're going to inhale. Start to sweep those fingers up over your head. Exhale as they reach the top of your head. And then try and keep them down. Palm up. Inhale to lovingly touch your body. Exhale, return back to the centre. Okay, so let's flow through the next four. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Feels good to give yourself a little touch. You don't actually spend very much time <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Justine. <laughs> Okay, last two. So arm comes up. Nice and slow. Last one. And up around. These ones should um, get slightly easier as you get to your fifth one. Perfect. Okay, so you can remove that pillow. Don't need that anymore. 
And the next one that we're going to do is um, called Scorpion Twist. We're going to do um, Scorpion Rolls next. Um, okay, so we're going to do Scorpion Rolls next. This is one of my favourite, favourite moves. I know I do say that about a lot of them, but honestly, this one feels fab. All right, so um, to demonstrate this one, I'm just going to show you from the front and then I'll turn to the side. So do the first couple on the front. So you're lying on your front with um, your arms out to the side. Choose a way that your head is going to be facing. Um, whichever way that your head is facing, bring that hand in so that it's um, flat on the floor just by your shoulder. And inhale, just to uh, tighten through your abs. Exhale, lift up that left leg. And you're going to roll it round until the foot is flat on the floor on the other side of your body. And then you're going to take that left hand and it's going to reach back. Oh, so good. Inhale, come back down and you're going to roll to the other side. So left hand extends, right hand is coming in, you're looking towards it, right leg reaches over and you extend with that right arm getting back as far as you can inhale come back in and we're just going to roll through these scorpion rolls inhale exhale inhale Inhale, two more each side, inhale to centre, you should be getting the nice flow of this one now, really opening up with your leg, really opening up with that shoulder and watch what's happening with your neck, make sure that you're not starting to tense up too much in your neck, keep that chin tucked slightly. Oh, okay. Last one. Oh. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I hope that you guys got a few back clicks with that one. <coughs> I know I certainly did. So satisfying. Okay, and that's your uh, your four exercises um, for the shoulders. Um, there are so many that we can do for shoulders that. I'm just going to keep pumping them out for you. Um, so, yeah, I hope that you're enjoying them. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow. We're going to start doing some work on the upper spine, so thoracic spine. Uh, yeah, so really good moves. Um, will really help with things like posture, loosening up your shoulders, um, and even, like, neck pain. And even um, when you don't have proper extension, in uh, the top part of your back, it can affect things all the way down to your feet. Okay, so yeah, come back tomorrow and we'll do some work on that. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining. Have a great day.